Hi there everyone this is Sean so in this video I'm going to show you is how you can flash CM14.1 on MI4i so first you would be requiring TWRP I have already uploaded a video regarding that so now first boot your device into TWRP by holding the power button and the volume up button together now once you are in the TWRP you can back up your ROM if you want to but I have already backed up mine and just you need to swipe this thing and now let's move on to wipe and then advanced wipe and advanced wipe you need to need choose Dalvik system data and that's it now swipe now let's go back and now move on to install now we need to tap on the CM ROM or the ROM file and then click on add more zips and we need to choose the gapps file and now once again confirm once it's done uh, you need to go back and tab install once again and now you have to flash the firmware file and then once again confirm it now tap on reboot system and now it may take around 10 to 15 minutes so you need to be patient now we are on the setup page I will quickly set up mine so guys now let's talk about performance the device is performing quite good it's quite smooth and as well as stable I have not experienced any random reboots or uh, crashing of apps yet so yeah now let's move on to settings and uh, in settings about phone and in about phone we find that we are running on the latest android version that is 10.1.1 android nougat and uh, we are also running the latest cyanogen mods 14.1 and now let's move on to android security patch level which is 5 December 2016 which is one of the latest one now let's move on to memory and in memory we find that around 800 MB is free so which is quite good for uh, 2 GB device and in battery battery life is quite good but it is not as good as uh, when compared to MIUI so yeah now let's move on to display and that adaptive display is working completely fine now and there is this uh, new section called live display it just uh, adds a tint to your device and guys the ambient display bug has been finally solved and now it is working completely fine let me quickly give you a demo and wave my hand over it so as you just saw it is working completely fine and now let's get back to the app tray and see what apps do we get and uh, the audio effects app has been updated it has been redesigned and it's looking quite good frankly and uh, FRO video still not works so yeah that's a bummer and uh, we do get screen recorder and uh, the, in terms of bugs the torch app is still not working so yeah that's a uh, kind of major but you can download a different app for it and all the uh, services like Geo 4G net and uh, 4G services are working fine Wi-Fi is working also fine and uh, Bluetooth is as well and uh, location is also working fine and uh, what else to say so guys this wraps up my video this is Sean signing off peace